wanted to build my own pedal. So I ordered the kit from Stumac. There's a few places to get it from, but this one seemed reasonable. So here we have the uh, packing slip on the pedal. Total price $68.89. 5466 plus shipping and handling and taxes, of course. Pay the tax man, but it's a screamer pedal kit with a white enclosure. I think that was an extra dollar for the painted enclosure. All right, let's see what we got in there. Pedal kit. You can see it's the screamer, which will be tube screamer. Thank you for purchasing. These are the stickers that are gonna go on the enclosure. Hopefully that's in focus. Good. And let's see what we got in here. Knobs, foot switch, potentiometers, jacks, and DC. Barrel connector, the female end, I guess that would be. Where is it male? It's got a little thing in there. Anyway, um, yep, some wire, probably some pads for feet, I'm guessing. Let's throw that down. And here is the enclosure. And what we have in here. We've got circuitry items. See some diodes and see a little chip. Capacitors, resistors. Uh, looks like a, oh, so we got the IC, and then we got um, the little thing that the IC fits in. So let's get a little zoom in. That's the. Um, fixture that holds the IC. We got the LED, IC, capacitors and resistors and some diodes right there. Good. And then we got our PCB, printed circuit board, the info on it. It's labeled. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to see that. This is the board for the foot switch. And we got some screws, little machine type screws for the enclosure. So looks like it's got a decent finish on it. It's not green like the uh, Ibanez Tube Screamer, but that's all right. Actually, it'll go like that. We'll have the jacks, power, knobs, LED probably goes there and the foot switch there. And it'll go in that enclosure with the stickers on it. So there you have it. Hopefully I'll be uh, doing a little maker's video here, building all this good stuff and recording it. So we'll uh, stay tuned and random day about. Okie doke. I'm here in my little makeshift workstation got my helping hands going we got our board PCB printed circuit board set up somewhat we got my station soldering station make sure everything's tight And let's see, what else? Um, yeah, we got our parts. And we got our paperwork. It's telling us to do, install the parts. So we're gonna be doing uh, diodes and transistors. Four diodes, two transistors. This is our IC. So yeah, I'm gonna dig those out and uh, See what we got. 
Okay, we got our parts together here. Looks like we got some focus. So, diodes and transistors. Basically, these are like a switch or a valve would be maybe a good description for a diode. It's like a one-way valve. So, this allows the current to flow one way, but not the other. So, for example, um, if you were trying to protect the backflow of current going through something, you'd want to put a diode in there. Um, so we're going to be including a few diodes, and we got our transistors here. Transistors are like gates or valves, but they're controlled by, in, these, in this case, these are probably uh, NPN. Looks like uh, NPN transistors which means that the current flow through the transistor is regulated by another current. So if you had like a 9 volt battery to power some circuit um, and you wanted to control the flow of that 9 volts through here, the current, you know, let's say it was 500 milliamps or something of current, um, you could control the opening and closing of this diode switch with a smaller current. So, for example, just um, for argument's sake, let's say you strum your guitar and that sends a signal through the pickups, out through the wire, into this board. Well, that guitar current, the signal coming through that guitar um, pickup is very small. Um, but it could be just enough to open the switch here and allow the full like 9 volt battery or 9 volt power, power supply uh, current to pass through the transistor. So I am by no means an electrician, electronics expert or electrical engineer. In fact I tried to study that in college and was not successful. Um, but I'm trying to learn a little bit. So diodes we talked about it was like a one-way like a one-way street for current we have a light emitting diode that you're probably familiar with LED light emitting diode and that is also a one-way current uh, gate or valve or uh, any other word you want to think of current can only flow one way through there the other way it won't work and then when the current does flow through it it emits light of varying wavelengths depending on what materials you use to make the diode and um, yeah other aspects of that so you can get different colors with different materials we're going to put those into the board now and get busy soldering so by the way i am uh, i have my um, soldering station set at 300 centigrade I think that should be good. Hopefully it's not too much. Um, and we're going to be using a 6040 blend with um, flux. And this is, I believe, a 0.8 or 0.6 millimeter uh, gauge uh, that we're using on our uh, solder. Solder. I'm going to say solder. I like it. So yeah, there's our solder on our spool, which is attached here, and it is pretty fine, but I'm hoping that that's good enough for our purposes here. I think it will be. Okie doke, uh, let's get things all into the board and we'll continue from there. Here we go with our first attempt. I'm going to give it a little heat. I feel like the temperature is not good enough. We're going to have to go up to 350. See how that works for us.
Yep, so kind of here's where we're at so far. Resistors, diodes, transformers, I mean, uh, transistors. So it's been kind of slow going. I'm doing this outside and I don't know, I feel like being outside with the wind and everything has really affected the heat transfer, so my solder joints are bloody awful. But we're doing our best. Alright, we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, we got some capacitors soldered in now. Electrolytics. We're going to do some more capacitors. Progress little by little. Still struggling a bit with my uh, solder joints. They're not good. I don't even want to show them. <laughs> but hey, we're learning. Making some kind of progress. Stay tuned. Hey, folks. I uh, just uh, put the finishing touches on the pedal you can see I have everything all done soldered up in there <laughs> for better or worse I actually did a test on it and everything works except the LED light and that thing gave me so much trouble actually getting that soldered in there I may have destroyed the contacts for it possibly it's really gnarly, much like all the other solder joints in there. Um, but I checked it with my diode tester and the light works. The LED light works. It's those contacts somehow. It's not, not getting powered there. So I'm going to have to mess with that a little bit. But I have checked uh, the functioning and it, and it works. So I'm pretty stoked. I'll uh, be giving a sample of that sound, that tone, um, in an upcoming, well, I'll, I'll just, yeah. So you'll be hearing it very soon. There's the stickers on there. It's not, you know, beautiful, but it's not hideous either. So, I'm digging it. It was uh, quite a learning experience going through this whole process. And uh, what I've learned is my soldering skills are, my soldering skills are not that good. Um, a lot of problems keeping the iron tip clean. It's just, I couldn't get a lot of transfer of heat, effective transfer of heat various temperatures and such but uh, enough about that here's the innards and yep she works so we're gonna put the knobs on and button it up and then we'll do a test stay tuned all right so we're gonna do our little test here of our tube screamer clone I'm using the uh, snark 9 volt power supply Got it on sale. I like it. It's a decent power supply. So we have our stage right mono price 12 inch tube amp. Our screamer clone plugged in to the power supply. And we're just running this into the front of the uh, amp here. And we're using Square Bullet Telecaster. It's a nice chip in it. Um, it's an okay guitar. I'm gonna have to do a review on it one day. But it's my first electric. Got it on sale. And here we are. So let's do our clean tone. <laughs> else is pretty much 12 o'clock and on this particular amp 12 o'clock basically means uh, zero 
So you, you get negative and positive effect, basically. Clean tone. Let's put everything at 12 on our screamer here, and we can hear the sound. on the neck pickup, bridge and neck. Bridge pickup. And that would have the most powerful sound. Oh, and then everything's at 12. Bridge, bridge and neck, neck. Go back, turn up the volume on our pedal. Drive. which is 12 o'clock position. Some, uh, some tones for us. Uh, 